it's time. I was thinking Thursday, if she's feeling better, we should take her to the beach. Babe. Or the mall. If you think the sun will be too much for her. Babe, come on. Mom doesn't have much time left. You need to go in and say goodbye to her. Now. Stop saying that. We just have to think positive thoughts. This is not about positive energy or good vibes. She's dying. No. You're just negative. You've always been negative. Trust me, she's going to pull through this. Not this time. You can't. <laughs> That's hysterical, right? <laughs> it's a perfume that can actually make people laugh. <laughs> what do you call it? Oh, let me guess. Sense of humor. Ooh, that's good. I was going to call it You Smell Funny. That's not my dream. I want to go to grad school. I want to travel. I want a career. And hopefully make a difference in the world. I want my life to be bigger than deciding which bowl to serve green bean casserole in and which tablecloth to use. Grams, you've always been the one person I can be completely honest with. You've always told me you can be whatever you want to be. So I figured if anyone would understand, it'd be you. Look, I, I only have $68. That'll do. Bus tour just canceled. They got stuck in ice. Really? So the whole place is now vacant? Seems that way. Then I'll take your best room for 25 bucks. But no one else is coming on a night like this. Take it or leave it. Thank you. I just had some chicken flavored meat and a Diet Pop. You can go look for yourself. Just don't steal the soaps. I promise. Go on up. I should warn you though, it smells like someone died in room three. Someone died in room three? No, I said it smells like someone died in room three. <laughs> we haven't actually located a body as of yet. Are you hurt? Then stop the noises. I was humming. Well, stop it. You're stressing me out. I'm stressing you out? You're the one with the gun. I told you, I have no intention to use it. As soon as I hear that the money has been picked up safely, you're free to walk out of here. And what if it's not? What makes you think anyone would pay a dime for me? We know. That's it? We know? Very comforting, thank you. This is just a job for me. It's not personal. Just keep your mouth shut and keep yourself alive. I just want to be clear. If my family refuses to pay, you're going to kill me, right? Don't put words in my mouth. I'm not killing anyone. So you're bluffing? I'm not bluffing. I mean, I don't want to kill anyone. I will if I have to. Then do it. What? Go ahead. Why waste any more time? No one's paying you anything. They don't care enough about me to pay you one cent. So go ahead. I'm done. Shut Do it. Shut up. Okay. We'll just continue to wait. Mm -hmm. Animals. That's inhumane. Working on animals? And wigs! I only work on humanes. You don't just go willy-nilly on a human client's hair. <laughs> willy-nilly! It's nothing to laugh about, look at me. I like it. So if it's not my co-workers, it's my parents. And sometimes even my boyfriend doesn't pay attention when I'm talking. Mm -hmm. Are you paying attention? Yes, of course. You were talking about your cats again. Okay, see, that's part of the problem. Everyone dismisses them as just cats, but they're more than that. They're my babies. Point is, this guy didn't do it. Yes, his fingerprints were found on the safe. Yes, the jewels were found in his fanny pack. Yes, he gave a full confession to the police and even apologized profusely. But none of that means he's guilty, does it? Okay, P probably, but y you cannot convict based on probably, can you, Judge? Y you can? Dang it. <laughs>